to. Twenty eight. First, a tale of a soldier who finds gold, spends it all, and steals a tinderbox. Then falls in love with a princess and causes great trouble, helped by three big dogs. But he gets to be Gossip, gossip! One loose little feather may easily grow into five dead hens. There's no doubt about it. Yes, the chickens tell the owls, and the owls tell the doves, and the doves tell the bats. And so, stories When a top loves a ball, and she thinks he's too fine, and bounces too high, you know she'll come to a sad end. A lovely butterfly helps Thumbelina sail away, away from Mother Toad and her ugly son. Many adventures lie ahead. I know that. When the swallow sang to me the whole story. Thumbelina saved the swallow's life, you know. In return, he introduced her to the king of flowers. They fell in love. The little mermaid left her beautiful undersea home to see the world. She came to love a human and so made a bad bargain. You see, she loved a young man whose life she saved and asked the witch for legs so she could be with him. But, as often happens, she could not have everything she wanted. Now we come to the story of the most steadfast tin soldier. This handsome tin soldier loved the ballerina. While the other toys played, he only looked at her. The soldier had a great adventure involving a paper boat, a sewer, a large rat, and a big fish. Through it all, he stood straight and tall as a soldier should. Some people believe flattery, others praise stuff they cannot see. So it was with the emperor's new clothes. Only a little child dared say, Look, he has nothing on. Once there was a duckling unlike other ducklings. The ducks and chickens bullied and bit him and called him ugly until he flew away. All through the autumn and winter he was lonely and sad. Then he met some beautiful swarms and discovered that he too was a swarm. Nature always sets things up. The little match girl lights a match to warm her hands and dreams of a warm house with a Christmas tree and roast goose. Soon she'll be far away in a place where there's no cold, no hunger. Can an artificial nightingale sing as beautifully as a real one? Only the real one could bring tears to the emperor's eyes and his soul. Once, a wicked demon invented a distorting mirror which fell to earth in a million pieces, falling into people's eyes and into their hearts, which turned to the fire. This happened to a boy named Fry, who then was taken away by the snow peak. Little Gerda, Pai's friend, bravely set out to find him. 
a friendly crow gave advice. And a swift reindeer carried her northward as she searched for the Snow Queen's castle. Kai and Gerda are safely home, but watch out. The wicked demons are still causing mischief. The shepherdess and the chimney sweep decided to run away from her disapproving grandfather. But the world is so big. Still, the story has a happy ending. Ah, this is how it feels to fly through the night in a magical flying tour. Just as the rich merchant's son did when he flew to the castle of the beautiful princess. I would tell the wonderful tale he told the king and queen. But we're out of time and the next story comes. A prince came to this castle with wonderful gifts. But the princess scorned them and refused to see the prince. In disguise, he got a job as an imperial swallow and made musical parts and such. And so charmed the princess. But discovered by the younger they were Out with you! The prince said, Thou wouldst kiss a swine for a musical pot and not have the prince apprise his gifts. Then he left the princess and went home. How do you know when a young lady is a princess? Please pee under 20 mattresses and 20 feather beds. If the lady says, The beds. It's not always the one who can decide the dictionary or knows embroidery who wins the label. Sometimes dead crows and pretty goats will be the truth. Yes, Thank you for joining me in the I always enjoy sharing my family. Are you at